Hey, welcome back to SOS and Stats RMBA. Guns. So we've gotten most of the house finished. We've got the other wall finished, and uh, we've got one more wall to make, and we've got to do the roof. Uh, this is just a just a video to throw in here randomly, and uh, just to kind of recap on some of the stuff we've done so far. I thought I would just get on here and just say, hey, uh, keep in mind all this stuff. Okay, so. After the plants video, because this is going to be after the plants video, um, after the plants video, we discovered many more plants. There's more to find, and we found more of them, and we started going through them and looking them up in the book and stuff like that. So that's one more thing that we've done, and because we don't just make a video, I mean, we keep working and keep doing our thing. I mean, this is work. I mean, this is serious work. Building that shelter is, it's not fun anymore. No, it's not. <laughs> and doing the raised bed, bushcraft beds, that's not fun either. That's just another thing. Uh, and the wild critters we get at night, that's not fun either. That's another thing. And uh, um, so, one more thing that we were going to do, probably, I don't know if we're going to do it tomorrow night. We're going to do, uh, we're going to do some food stuff. We're going to do some traps. We were planning on doing some traps. And another thing was... Uh, Try and hunt down some small critters and uh, for our foods video. <laughs> We're gonna do some small critters for our foods video, just to just to throw it in there. And uh, this stuff gets tiring, man. I mean, this is not the kind of stuff that uh, people play these little games like. It's the it's the monotony of it. Yeah, it's cutting just down tree after tree, tree after and tree, tree, and then. Then, uh, Can I ever stop cutting down trees? I know, right? And then it's like, it's not just with the trees. It's like sh shaping everything to fit and fitting it and then going out and then getting more debris. And, you know, this isn't like a debris hut. We're talking long term. It, like the, it's kind of like the thing we're sitting in now. This is the, the, the bench we made. This is a uh, another one of those <clears throat> bushcraft bench things that I made before. I made one of these, and then we decided, hey, look, let's just make our um, make our uh, sleeping arrangement that way. So that's what we did. We don't have hammocks anymore. We don't have any of that stuff. We're out here. Uh, we're sleeping on wood uh, that's about six inches off the deck from the ground and dealing with bugs and everything else. We don't have any walls yet completely. We have the framework, and if you can see, I'll, I'll spin you back over there real quick just so you can see. Sure, I get you. There you go. But we have the framework, but we don't have the walls like entirely. We have one wall that's still um, uh, the uh, this is this is still the uh, uh, tarp. So now we have a plan for the roof already, and we have a plan for the sides, but we just haven't finished any of that yet. So we have to finish all that stuff up. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's always good to do these videos of like the recap of what's going on and, and how much work's actually going into this stuff. Um, sometimes it's, it's sleep deprivation thing. Uh, you don't get as much sleep not, not like normal. Uh, waking up earlier than you normally would. As soon as daybreak or the birds start chirping, you're literally up uh, because they're right there in your face and they're waking you up. I, and I didn't sleep last night because I had a terrible idea for a bed that I tried yesterday and it, it was horrible didn't sleep so we tore that down and went with this but hey i lost a night of sleep over it it happens but we didn't we didn't film we didn't film the original bed design that he had because what he did was take uh two logs and run them straight between the two uh, tree a log on one side of the tree a log on the other side of the tree and then ran it straight across to the other tree and then um he stacked uh cut links into it and uh, it just didn't work out because it wasn't stable enough. And going with its own individualness, like with the design we have now, the individual design, like it's 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 a movable system. So it's three legs, then three legs, and then you'll see all that in the uh, bushcraft. Uh, 
little uh, bushcraft house build or whatever, or bushcraft camp build, which, whichever I call it. POW camp. POW camp, <laughs> whatever we call it. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to call it. It's always good to get on here and just kind of chat and just kind of like talk, and then um, you guys can kind of understand what we're going through. It's not that easy. And some of the stuff that I want to show you guys, we just can't show you because it's so time-consuming with building stuff. It's, it's a lot of building. I told him a million times a day, cut on the TV because it's way easier on TV. I tell it's way easier it's on TV. It's way easier. Just turn it on. Everything's way easier on TV. Everything. Like, uh, from using that mini hatchet, I mean, uh, I've tried out everything that I've, I've brought. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the mini mite, the hatchet that I made, the Viking hatchet. It works, but you have to have a technique of using it, and it works better. Uh, you've got to get the technique down. And the saw, the bushcraft saw, works great. He brought a traditional saw. I brought a bushcraft yeah. saw. Kukri. He brought a kukri. Always a, great. The kukri has been a workhorse the whole trip. And like I've said before, every trip we go on, the kukri is always a workhorse. Uh, my, uh, my hunter tracker works, but won't work like a kukri. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to be honest. It won't work like a kukri. And if I had a kukri with me, I'd get a lot more done. But I do have a machete. So I bust out my machete and I carry it with me everywhere. So it's machete. What tools have we used? That's that's a major question. What tools have we used? Buck saws. Saw. <laughs> the freaking, I'll say freaking, freaking two buck saws. Saw, kukri, hatchet. So yeah. Basically. Saw, kukri, hatchet. Your hatchet is amazing. That's a good. That's a good hatchet. Uh, my hatchet, uh, my uh, oh crap, my machete. Um, I've used a shovel it. like once to go you to the bathroom. To you need a shovel, yeah. okay? But keep that in mind. You got to dig a hole. You got to poop. People have to poop. <laughs> you got to dig a hole. I mean, at least six inches. At least six inches deep. Dig a hole, right? Dig a hole and do your business. And it's not that easy. It is not that easy to do this stuff. I forget. I forget every single time I go doing this stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, I need something to prop myself up on. Wait a minute, I don't want to just hover. Keep that in mind. You know, that hovering thing doesn't work for everybody. Just have a plan for everything. <laughs> you better have a plan. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like the, uh, uh, just, just with something simple like pooping. If people don't understand how hard that is to just like go and say, okay, just go find a spot. Okay, I'm just going to go find a spot. It's not that easy. If you think like everybody else. You have, have to be away from your camp. Exactly. You have to be on top of a hill because you don't yep. want to be where there's going to be a creek because you're going to give yourself, yep. like, not beaver fever, but people fever. People whatever. fever. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to do just, that. It's bad juju. Yeah, you don't want to contaminate your own, your own water system. That's the other thing. And just because it's convenient doesn't mean do it, okay? It's, even, even the guy downstream, you don't want yeah, to poop in exactly. his water. Yeah, exactly. He's exactly. not going to appreciate that. He's I'm not going to appreciate that at all. <laughs> but anyways, there's a lot of stuff to think about with this. We're going to have some recap videos uh, of this. I'm going to have some stuff like do's and don'ts and stuff like that. We'll do other videos of do's and don'ts, like what we learn, um, uh, the uh, uh, the after after action report. We'll do an after action report for this. Uh, I did an after action report with the mag video. I'll do another after action report for this so that everybody can kind of get an idea of what we learned and what you can learn from. And uh, hopefully some of the videos are helping uh, that, we've, that we've put out so far. But uh, this is just us just hanging out. And this is, the, uh, this is the view we have right here. This is what we look at. And uh, be sure to set up your bench the correct way so the smoke doesn't blow in your face. That's always a must. You gotta find that prevailing wind. <laughs> that prevailing wind. All right, uh, you're watching SOS. I'm Stassi Badass. Guns. All right, and take it easy.